Hi, and welcome to Altus Campus. My name is Joseph Mahoney. I'm a certified medical physicist, and I will be your instructor for this eight-part series on radiation safety and fluoroscopy. I'm excited to get to talk to you, and I hope you're excited to learn about radiation safety. So uh, why should you be interested in taking this course? Well, um, x-rays, as you know, have uh, really revolutionized medicine. They've enabled us to do a lot of procedures that um, have, have saved lives, have allowed us to uh, do minimally invasive procedures where before maybe exploratory surgery or um, more um, experimental, unguided uh, procedures would have been necessary. So um, x-rays have done a lot of good for us. They've, um, they're, they're a good thing, but they also have the potential to cause harm. They can, they can cause radiation burns, cancer birth defects. So um, we need to not, not give up on x-rays, but just learn how to be responsible with them and know the relative risks. So as a practitioner who uses x-rays, you need to understand the risks and uh, you need to be able to manage uh, both your patient dose and uh, scattered radiation to, uh, to yourself and other people that are in the room. So in this course, again, it's eight eight uh, episodes. The first talk, we're going to talk a little bit about physics. Uh, don't, don't get too worried. We're, there's no math. But um, we're going to talk about what exactly x-rays are um, and how, how they get produced. And so, you know, we'll, we'll show pictures of an x-ray tube and um, talk about the components. Episode two, we'll talk a little bit more about the applications of fluoroscopy specifically. So how, once we make those x-rays, how do we uh, detect them? How do we use those in procedures? We'll talk about the components of uh, the fluoroscopy in image intensifier and uh, different detectors that we'll use um, in, in fluoroscopy. Episode three, we'll talk about radiation quantities and units. You'll, you've probably seen a lot of uh, words, uh, rim, sieverts, uh, gray maybe that um, may or may not make sense to you at this point, but we'll talk about what those actually mean physically and um, what, uh, what they mean biologically as well. So episode four, we get on to biological effects of radiation. So as I mentioned, x-rays can, uh, they do have the potential to cause biological harm. So we'll talk about what happens um, on a cellular level when x-rays um, interact with cells how they cause damage, how that damage can sometimes be repaired. Um, it will talk about the, um, the deterministic and stochastic effects of radiation on living cells, and we'll talk later about what that actually is. Episode five, we'll talk about how much radiation is safe. Well, um, the, uh, there, are certain, there are certain levels above which radiation causes harm and below which there's no harm, and um, that's, uh, those are what we call deterministic or threshold effects. The stochastic effects, there's more of a, a statistical um, risk factor involved, so we'll talk about that too. Um, there's there's um, some things that we can look at objectively, some things are just going to have to be subjective. Episode 6, we'll talk about radiation safety for staff and patients. That uh, primarily has to do with scattered radiation, how you protect yourself and uh, other people in the room from scattered radiation that's not being used for diagnostic purposes, but is just a secondary uh, scatter. There's, there's a lot of precautions that, um, that you can take to protect yourself from that. Episode 7, we'll talk about patient dose management which, um, of course, all patients are not the same. You've got large patients, you've got small patients, you have uh, long, detailed procedures and, and really short procedures. So we'll talk about how do you customize radiation dose for the individual patients and individual cases. Episode 8, we'll talk about uh, dose recording. Um, there's a, in the state of Texas, you're required to uh, record fluoro times, if possible, air kerma. Um, so we'll talk about how to do that what you do with that data, and uh, at the very end we'll get into some um, compliance issues that you should know just to stay com compliant in the state of Texas.